Hi everyone, and here's a devotional for Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. These people turn toward me with their mouths and honor me with lip service while their heart is distant from me and their fear of me is just a human command that has been memorized. Isaiah 29, 13. Lord, help us. And that's the C-E-B version. What is that? Common English Bible? I mean, I don't really know. I don't think I've heard of that one. Christian... I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what it is, so <laughs> I'll let me read the thing. I am often perplexed by f- by polls that ask, Do you consider yourself a Christian? For many people, that question is different than if asked, Are you a Christ follower? Not that Jesus pays attention to opinion polls or census results, although the census was a key plot point at the time of his birth. See Luke 2, verses 1 and 2. But if he did... I can imagine his face when reading the percentage of people who checked the box marked Christian. Hmm, news to me. Those who consider themselves Christians because that seems to be the most fitting of the options, who see it as a label more than a lifestyle, an affiliation rather than a life-altering commitment, may be among those referred to in today's verse. They turn to Jesus the Lord following him with their lips only, not their body, heart, mind, soul, and strength. Their reverence for him is human wording they memorize rather than a heartfelt, Jesus, I'm all in. Can you imagine Jesus responding? I didn't give my life to offer you access to a club or a free trial membership. I conquered death to give you real life. I invite you to follow me on a wild ride of grace, trials, answers, questions, forgiveness, and hope, exposing you to the merciful heart of God. Come walk with me into an unimaginable future and after that an even more unimaginable eternity. Pretty much describes what it's like to follow him, doesn't it? Cynthia Rukti, R-U-C-H-T-I, Faith Step. Thank Jesus for his invitation, his invitation to follow, okay, that was weird, it jumped. Thank Jesus for his invitation to follow him. Get specific. Well, I'll, first I'll tell you oh, a story. Um, I haven't stop, found stop, a great way to um, prop up this recorder while I do this. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to tell you all a story. And she may or may not be listening to this. I don't know. But, um, you know, back in my high school days, I, I call that my before Christ days. And I was one of those people that wanted the label of a Christian, but I wasn't. You know, I would act like a Christian around the Christian people, and I would act like other people around them. (laughs) And so one day, uh, we're walking down the hall at the School for the Blind back when I went there my last two years of high school. And I called somebody a name, and my English teacher, who is a Christian, came up and said, Nice talk, Kelly. And it really reminded me that, wow, I'm I'm pretty lukewarm. I'm just kind of riding the fence here. And, And it's like when I finally accepted Jesus, it was a line in the sand for me it was um okay this is for real i'm not gonna just keep sitting on the side on the top of the fence there you know i need to go on one side and that's the side of jesus i need to stand up for him and everything even if it might make me look like a fanatic or whatever and so um on november 3rd of 94 that's when he really got control of my life and i'm so thankful that he did and, um, so yeah, let's, I want to challenge us today. Let's, let's go deeper with Jesus and not just kind of toss that word Christian around. Let's really be that. Let's have that relationship with him. And, um, yeah, the, I like that about the free trial membership. Um, there's a song and I'm not even going to try to sing it, but it's called, um, why don't you try Jesus by Jeff and Sherry Easter. The one part says, um, how's it go? Um. If you don't like the wind inside, that you know the devil will take you back or something like that. <laughs> it's like, but we don't want that, do we? Because I know for me, when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, I mean, even it's been almost 26 years, and it's the best decision that I've ever made in my life, the best thing that ever happened to me. And second would be marrying Jeff. That was the second best thing that ever happened to me. So let's let's go deep, deeper with Jesus today. Let's not just 
you know, say the word. Let's let's live that word. Let's be Christ followers today and tomorrow and every day. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.